I'm going to put in my two cents as far as stuff goes. Pe pe people are talking about uh, the um, the superbug strain and stuff. What it is is the medical uh, doctors were negligent when, when they didn't give us an education on things. Yeah, like uh, prebiotics, biotics, and all that kind of stuff. What it is is it, it, it derives from the word antibiotics. The word anti means against. The word biotics means life. So, so, so then, um, uh, probiotics would be in favor of life. And a lot of the words have some sort of Latin derivative to them. Like the word adult. Dolt, D-O-L-T, is Latin for stupid. And that's part of the reason why words need to be spelled down and they spelled out in the exact definitions get given to people so, so that we can make informed decisions. I'm, I'm not a medical doctor. I'm not a nurse. I, I'm not a lie, lawyer. <laughs> Had to throw that one in. Um, I, I had been pre-med in school and basically had the notes when I ended up getting sick. Uh, some notes were handed to me for me to make, do a makeup exam. And who I went to school with ended up uh, changing the notes. There, there's some people that should have never been led into medical school, in my opinion. They should have never been let in. Um, I was reading something that was written about a certain medical doctor that I, I, I couldn't stand dealing with him. Uh, very cocky, very arrogant and stuff. Acted like his poop didn't stink. He screwed up so damn many uh, operations. His license should have been, his medical license should have been revoked when he first screwed up. There, there was a uh, medical doctor. I was reading about that one. Uh, uh, they call him Scapel Happy. That basically a medical doctor ended up um, screwing up. He was a neurosurgeon and all that kind of stuff. He's going to prison. I forgot how many years they wrote it and said that he was going to be going to prison for. I'm like, uh, imagine if, if if a medical doctor uh, went, oh shit. I'm going to be prosecuted if I fuck up this this operation. I think they'd have a very sobering moment and wouldn't be doing cocaine like the medical doctor that I was reading about. I forgot what that guy's name was, but it's just like, I'm glad they came in and they, they basically uh, took a bite, out, took a nibble out of crime. It'd be great if they were like uh, termites and just <laughs> went after them. I do mean that. I mean, I'm not in a position to do diddly shit. That's the reason why I'm just kind of like sitting back and going, oh, I'm just going to... Uh, I mean, I, I just look at the crap and it's just... That's, that's the reason why I had to speak up to, to people who are in public office that are trying to do something. That, that know what's going on and their hands have been figuratively tied. It sucks.
It absolutely sucks. So some of the people actually give a damn about America. And they hate having to sit back and just watch America being imploded from within. And they hate having to, to watch the, the ones that are taking stuff out of America uh, just get on and off of planes and on and off of uh, boats uh, and, and have lied about coming into America. Uh, yeah, about being in fear of being murdered from whatever country they immigrated from. This is more bullshit right here. That's, that's the kind of shit that I gotta deal with. More shit. Oh, it's on a leash. It's on a leash. I mean, look at the damn leash. That's, that's a real goddamn effective leash. Excuse me, my French. I just look at the shit. What it, what it is is I was outside and uh, there was a very aggressive dog that, that started running towards my dog and uh, who, who was uh, had my dog on a leash uh, basically was getting ready to be attacked and I had to stand up and yell and scream they, they don't give a shit what they do What it, what it is is sometimes people end up having what's called a, a my I'm not I'm not trying to give any ideas to any any damn drug dealers I hate your fucking guts I'll put that on the record I, I hate everything that you do I, I can't stand drug dealers I think that you're the scum of the earth but anyhow uh, you know and I really hate the ones that do drugs for non-medicinal procedures I don't have to be a medical doctor to figure that shit out but anyhow, um, what, what it is is, um, so, so the dog that was very aggressive came and almost attacked, and when I saw what it was doing, neither, my dog didn't see it, and neither uh, did, did the man that was walking my dog for me. And uh, I got up and started yelling and screaming and, and, and all that kind of stuff, and, and, and just started charging at the dog. Um, and, and finally the dog ended up backing down but what it is is uh, the ones end up doing drugs what they'll do is they'll sit there and they'll train a dog and uh, to, to basically uh, tell a dog how to sick and how to do whatever to attack people and it's very dangerous it really is but anyhow what they do is that they have the dog so if uh, somebody's getting in their uh, drug territory, that what they'll do is they'll tell the dog to attack another drug dealer and, and, and do shit like that. Or if, like, if the cops are getting ready to go bust their asses, then that's what they do. Uh, and, um... Certain dogs like uh, Rottweilers and uh, Dobermans, and, I mean not Dobermans, uh, pit bulls and that kind of stuff are just, uh, that's the reason why they, they uh, a drug dealer typically ends up getting them. Because they're very aggressive. They're very aggressive. <laughs> But, but but they're taught by the drug dealer how to be aggressive. And so what the drug dealer will do will sit there and uh, t basically that doesn't give a shit about the damn dog. That the dog is only being used. 
That's a typical psychopathic trait. Sit there and, and, and basically uh, narcissistic, psychopathic. Uh, they'll sit there and do that kind of shit. Not even give a damn about a dog. And, and, and basically not even giving a shit that the dog gets killed by 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 uh, their opposing uh, drug dealer. Can't talk sense into them either. Don't don't even waste time. Don't don't even waste time talking to a damn drug dealer or a drug addict. That they laugh about ecstasy. They laugh about cocaine. They use phrases like "let it snow." They're, 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 they're talking about cocaine. I mean, just look at the movie Scarface. That's not normal behavior. I mean, just look at the number of them with their little pinky fingernail sticking out oh it's just it's very fashionable it's like well i don't want to go to the fashion shows that you go to it looks like a, a finger pinky nail just like the movie scarface and and i would say that there's a high probability that you've been doing cocaine I mean, too, too bad the damn cops don't go in there undercover and just bust the damn places that have keys to government buildings. I mean, it's just like people are sick and tired of, of, of uh, the bullshit. I know I am. I've been so damn sick and tired of the bullshit. Doesn't mean I'm going to go kill myself. I mean, what a crock of shit. And I had one of them sit there. I tell you what, I would not be surprised if that one's been doing cocaine for a while. I would not be surprised. Here's a bunch of them. I mean, how difficult would it be for one of them that owns a drug testing place to, to just sit there and take uh, urine that doesn't have any trace of any uh, drugs in it and, and, and switch it off so, so that uh, a cop that's, that's rotten is walking around freely and that, and, and, that, uh, and that a man or a woman that went in to get their, drug, their, their urine tested all of a sudden, it's called the drop, and then basically all of a sudden their, their urine comes up with all sorts of shit in it that they never even did. <clears throat> I mean, I think that people should should say that, 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 that you know that, that this is this is the urine sample. I'm going to stand here, and it's going to be processed right in front of my eyes. It's kind of like a somebody behind the counter of a jewelry store. Oh, let me take the 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 diamond ring back, and let me take the ring back, and. And then they switched the diamonds out for, uh, sub for for shit that wasn't in the ring to begin with. I mean, it's just like what the fuck. I have one of them pull some shit on me and I look back at it, it's like crap. They said it was a gold pin and I'm like that. That wasn't a damn gold pin. It was a gold colored pin, just like the one that said the gold coin. And I wrote back, I said gold colored coin. How the, how the hell is something, some kind of cheap shit made in China? Uh, 
a, a gold whatever. That's not gold. That's gold colored. Now you just look at the bullshit. Well, I have a recording here. I mean, it's just like the ones sitting here and pulling their crap. I just, I'm, I'm sick and tired of it. It's just like when I'm sitting there and taking a, uh, terracotta brick and sending it to me and went ahead and called and asked me how I liked the brick. Well, a brick could be damn cocaine. I didn't I wasn't sent cocaine. A brick could be uh, like a, a brick of gold. It wasn't a brick of gold. I just look at the shit and I'm just like... like trying to go to school to get an education they had no intention to give me an education to be able to enjoy my fruits oh well we confess it we're going to give a worthless piece of paper out well we, well, we talked about pyramids and stuff and the pharaohs Oh, it's like when I'm sitting there and building a, a, a pyramid with his hands, and I'm just like, ah, oh, shit. Modern day Pharaoh. And people are sick and tired of the shit. It's like the black robes inside the courts. That's kind of like a modern day bu bubonic plague, if you ask me. ones that pull the crap. I mean, I just look at one of them and I just think he's an asshole. <laughs> 